All right, in this video, we're going to solve the following problem in Python. So the problem is implement an algorithm to determine if a string has all unique characters. So generally, anytime you're given a problem like this in the context of a technical interview, you want to make sure that you completely understand the problem that you're given prior to actually writing any code. So in order for us to make sure that we understand what the question is asking, let's consider two specific strings. And the strings that we'll consider are the string unique and the string bare. So if we consider the string unique, what this problem ask, is asking here is asking whether or not each of the characters in this string that we're given are unique. Namely, are there any repeats of the characters in the string? So it's easy enough to just view the word unique here, the string, and see that u appears twice in this string. So there's an occurrence of the character u, which makes this not unique. If this was a function, uh, we can imagine that the function would probably return the value of false. So if we consider the string instead bare, uh, it's easy to see that each of the characters or letters in this string are unique. There's no repeat character in the string bare. So again, if this was coded up as a function, we can assume that the function for this uh, particular value of bare would return true. So let's uh, think about how we can go about solving this problem now that we have an understanding of it. And the way that we're going to go about solving it is certainly not the only way. There's a ton of different ways you can solve this particular problem. Um, we're going to be stepping through one of many ways. Uh, and um, this particular way is going to leverage uh, a function known as the set function, which is in Python. So in order to illustrate that, let's pop over here to the terminal window. I'm going to open up a Python shell. And let's pop in these uh, example strings as variables. So we'll call s1 uh, equal to unique and s2 equal to the string bare. So the set function that I mentioned before operates on lists and strings in this case, is which, which is what we're interested in. So if we type in set of s1, we'll be presented with a set object that has elements uh, that correspond to the unique elements of the string. So if we consider this string again unique, it has six characters in it, and the set object that we're getting back has one, two, three, four, five elements in it. So basically it goes through, gets the set of that, and just returns the unique elements of that string. So again, if we do the same thing on S2, which is the string bare, we'll see that we also get a set object, but in this case, the length of the string which is four, is also equal to the length of the set object that were returned. So you can kind of see a very easy way to solve this problem using the set idea, where we're basically just going to check whether or not the length of the string is equal to the length of the set of the string. So that's kind of the key idea of solving this problem. So let's mosey back on over to the, uh, the file over here, and we'll create our function, which we'll call isUnique. And it'll take an argument s, which will be the string. And we're just going to do this in a single line. So we're going to return whether or not the length of the string s is equal to the length of the set of the string. So if this does happen to uh, be true, we know that the elements are unique. So in this case, bare uh, would, would be a true uh, statement for this condition. And if we consider the string unique, uh, it would return false. So just to verify that that's actually what happens, let's actually uh, define our variables in this file here. So we'll, unique will be s1 and s2 will be bare. And let's print out the uh, response of the isUnique function. So we'll do isUnique for s1 and we'll also do isUnique for s2. So again, S1 corresponds to, to unique, the string unique, and that should return false. And S2, since that corresponds to the string bare, should return true. So let's save this, and let me exit out of this Python shell. And if I ls, I have the uh, Python file that I'm writing to right here on the right-hand side. So if I just type in Python is unique, run it, then I get the expected false for unique and true for bear.